Roses are dead. Violets are too, compared to God's love and His mercy on you. Valentine gifts of poems, sweets, and flowers will all vanish one day, whereas God's gifts to His loved ones are eternal in nature. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God personally and more fully, we see throughout the Bible how God our Father is a giver of gifts to those whom He loves. Isaiah 26.3 You, Father, guard and keep me in perfect constant peace in my, as my mind is stayed on you, and as I commit to you, clean, uh, lean on you, and hope confidently in you. Psalm 146.7 You, God, set free the prisoners. Verse 8 You open the eyes of the blind. You lift up those who are humble. Psalm 147, 7, you heal the brokenhearted. Verse 19, you fulfill the dreams of those who fear you or hold you in awe and respect. These are just a few gifts we get from God. You could literally uh, find gifts throughout every chapter of the Bible. Why does God give us things? Gifts are traditionally an expression of generosity, kindness, and honor. To those who accept the gifts, it's an expression of respect. The whole process sparks a connection between the giver and the receiver. In Matthew 2.11, the wise men came bearing gifts to Jesus as a young child with gold, frankincense, and myrrh. In Matthew 7.11, Jesus describes giving as something a loving father does for his kids. If you, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your kids, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? Ephesians 4.8, talking about Jesus he ascended on high and led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. Verse 11, he gave some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Why? Verse 12, for the equipping of the saints for the works of ministry and for the edifying of the body of Christ. Verse 13, till we all come to the unity of the faith and knowledge of the Son of God. Son of God. Verse 14, so we will no longer be children subject to deceitful plotting by our enemy. Verse 25, but speaking the truth in love, growing up in all things into Christ. 1 Corinthians 14, 1 tells us to pursue love and desire spiritual gifts, especially the gift of prophecy, because verse 3, prophecy edifies, exhorts, and comforts people, and verse 4, edifies the church. <clears throat> 1 Peter 4, 10, each person has received a gift. We are to use it to minister to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. James 1, 7, Every good gift is from above and comes from the Father of lights. 2 Timothy 1, 6 tells us we are to stir up the gifts of God in us. Ephesians 2, 8, Your, your salvation is a gift from God. Acts two thirty eight. All we need to do is repent and be baptized and you will receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Words of encouragement. As we learn more about how our God, our Father God gives us, it can help us, it, it can't help but stir us up and do the same in us as we are made in His image and likeness. Our gifts are our time, talents, and treasures to be used to build up the church and give glory to God. Have a great day.